My name is Archibald Chesterfield III. I'm a YouTube entertainer and celebrity. And I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the Archie Luxury and Paul Pluter channel. And I got to talk to you today about just watch collecting and how lucky we are. And everyone knows I recently I recently bought a Paddock World Time. I've got a yellow gold 5110J, which is the the uh, World Time that came out released in 2000. It lasted until 2006 when it was replaced by the 5130, which was a larger cased version of the same watch. And I started having a bit of a hunt around the internet on the world time itself. And there was a fantastic article on Houdinki. Houdinki's got a great article on uh, a vintage world time. The, the exact reference, the exact reference is a 252523. 25, and this is a original piece, which... Uh, the way the story said is in 1964, this was a very, very expensive Patek Philippe. And you really needed to be wealthy to buy one. And at the time, the world time was so expensive, only about eight of these were sold. And it, you, you update that to a modern era now, and uh, the likes of me can own a world time. Yes, it's not cheap. Yes, it's expensive. But relative, <clears throat> relative to my place in society and what's needed to own a world time watch, it's quite interesting to see that someone like me would have no chance in 1964 of obtaining this type of watch. The production numbers, of course, in 1964 were hell of a lot lower. Not many were made because they were so expensive. In today's world we live in, the 5110 was a relatively popular model from Patek. In fact, I know a few people, fans and viewers of the channel, who own a 5110. I've got a friend in America who's uh, got a 5110P, the Platinum Baby. I've got a fan in Auckland who's got a white... He bought my white gold one. And that, you can see them around the traps. They are out there. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, um, you've really got to, you've really got to Appreciate the time we live in. I mean, that type of piece in the 60s was a very unattainable piece. Unattainable, expensive. Nowadays, someone like me who can get one. I mean, I'm, I'm living on the fringes of society. I'm not wealthy by any stretch of the imagination. And I can somehow get a world time. It's pretty amazing stuff. And this is the the age we live in. I mean, so much uh, in, in our era now is we take for granted. We take air travel for granted. Air travel was so expensive in the 60s. Air travel was damn expensive. So you didn't travel as much as you can today. Mind you, everyone remembers the air travel of yesteryear. People dressed up. Well, that's because it was so dear. You wanted to enjoy it as best you can. Now, we treat it like taking a cab. And th this is what's kind of happened with our world we live in. The, the world we live in is now so, so fantastic. So many of these things are attainable for us. But we don't appreciate 
where we're from. We don't appreciate the past. We only look at what isn't working for us. And in many ways, horology today, it's we, we, we've come a long way. We, we really have access to some wonderful pieces. I mean, a couple of years ago, I was talking to this lady. She was on a dating site, of course. And um, she uh, mentioned she mentioned her dad was a Rolex man. I said, oh, did he have a few? Did he? Oh, no, he just had one. And this is the thing. He may have been a Rolex man, but he didn't have 10 Rolexes or five Rolexes or even two Rolexes. One Rolex. And that's the thing. In this day and age we live in now, we can be a collector. We don't need to be the super rich. We don't need to um, be a jet setter to have a collection of Rolex watches or even to own a Patek. And we're really so lucky. We're really so lucky. Unfortunately, we're caught up in our world of things that don't work. What doesn't work for us? We're too caught up in that sense. So in many ways, that is a sad thing. I'm Archie Luxury discussing the world. Tell me how, do you feel lucky in this world? Do you feel lucky? I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think of that. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we do in the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.